Hi guys, in the previous video about installing MS-DOS on a new modern hardware, I promised to film another video where we'll try to install Windows 3.1 on it. So today we'll try to find out if it's possible to install Windows 3.1 on a new modern PC. Let's go. We have the same PC as before. It's Intel i9-9900K, 32GB of RAM, MSI Z390 motherboard and 2K LG monitor with 144Hz rate. As you remember, in a previous video about MS-DOS, we succeed with the installation. Windows 3.1 setup must be running from MS-DOS. I think if we succeed with MS-DOS, so maybe we can succeed with Windows 3.1 also. Let's try. Windows 3.1 release date is April 6, 1992. It was almost 31 years ago. Back in the day to install Windows 3.1 you needed 6 floppy disks. Today you can install Windows 11 in 5 minutes, but at the time it took the way longer. Sometimes you needed to start installation again, because something may went wrong. Imagine how painful it was. Ok, to install Windows 3.1 we need MS-DOS. I know, it's better to use OG version of MS-DOS to avoid any issues, but I will try to use FreeDOS, which can be written to USB stick using a program called Rufus. It takes 2 minutes. Then we need to download Windows 3.1 image, unzip it and copy files to USB stick. Ok, let's try to boot, press F11 to access boot menu on MSI motherboard, selecting USB stick, readers is loaded. Starting Windows 3.1 installation is pretty simple, you just need to type setup.x and press enter. Oh nice, Windows 3.1 setup begins. Funny, but the menu is not much different from Windows XP setup, it's almost the same. Ok, express setup, copy in files. And oh no, the error message appears. Make sure you have installed himam.sys. So this is the end? Of course not. If you were watching my previous videos about Windows 8 installation, you should remember that we have similar error during setup. And we have fixed it using a special driver called XMJR. Let's try to use it during Windows 3.1 installation. What if it works? The integration is simple. First you need to open file config.sys, then type device equals xmjr.sys on the top. Save changes and copy xmjr file to USB stick. Booting from USB, start installation again and it works. No errors. Nice. Oh my god, my keyboard and my mouse are working properly. It's amazing to me because in the previous video about Windows 8 installation, my mouse was getting nuts. But all is not well, as you can see we have some distortions on the screen. During Windows 8 installation on a modern hardware we have the same issues. It's called artifacts. They appear because of old driver, which of course is not compatible with a modern GPU. Ok, go next, uh, type your name, RamTech and the setup begins. Select a printer and... Oh my god, it's working? I can't believe it. It's unbelievable because in the previous video we have failed with Windows 8 installation on a modern hardware, but now even older version of Windows can run on it almost without problems after 30 years. Amazing. But how it can be possible? Do you have any thoughts? Write it in the comment section. I will tell you the reason in the end of this video. Now I can run a short tutorial on how to use Windows and mouse. Ok, let's try. It shows to you how to change size and how to maximize or minimize the windows. It looks great. Basically this is tutorial how to use Microsoft operating systems. I've never did it before. And you? Newer versions of Windows don't have built on tutorials like this, right? Ok, now we can reboot. Windows 3.1 is loaded. That's how it looks on a modern PC. For those who don't believe, watch this. Here is my PC. I am typing a command on my keyboard, which is connected to USB 3.2 port on Z390 motherboard. I'm recording the screen using Avermedia capture card. As you can see, the HDMI input port connects from GTX 1080 to the capture card. The capture card connects to my second PC and can record the screen using OBS. Even my mouse, which is also connected to USB 3.2 port, is working well. Let's check system properties. Oops, Windows 3.1 doesn't have it. Nothing to worry about, we can check it using a program called MSD. Unfortunately, by unknown reason, it won't start in Windows 3.1, but we can try to run it in MS-DOS. And it works. 
Go to Computer, Processor Unknown, but it shows BIOS date 2021. Go to Memory, total 629 kilobytes, but we have 32 gigabytes. Go to Video, it determines NVIDIA, BIOS date 2016. Network, no, mouse Logitech, that's right. Disk drivers, 2 gigabytes, but the real are 18 terabytes and 4 terabytes. Okay, let's start the system. It was Windows 3.1 startup sound. Of course, it's not real. The sounds don't work here because of drivers. I just added the sound. The second problem is artifacts. You may notice a ghost window. Ring a bell? Almost the same lag you may have met in Windows XP. It happens because of the same reason Windows 3.1 doesn't have modern drivers. Let's have a notepad. 30 years and still the same. Amazing. What about paint? It looks very familiar too. I will try to draw my channel logo. Something like this. What do you think? If I am not mistaken, this program allows you to communicate with other computers over a modem connected to a serial port. Recorder. It can create a macros, right? Calendar. Calculator. Oh, it's the same too. It also has scientific mode. Clock. Object Packager. It should create archives, I guess. Character map. Media player. It's not working because of drivers. Sound recorder too. File manager. That's how one of the first Windows Explorers looks like. Control panel. You can switch themes here. I choose Arizona theme. Fonts. Times New Roman was already here then. Ports. Mouse settings. You can test your mouse. Keyboard. Printers, International, you can change Windows language into clicks, it's very convenient. Date and time, drivers, sound. Unfortunately, due to the lack of drivers, we will not hear the sounds. Print manager, about Windows. Ok, let's try to run old games here. Minesweeper, I almost won, I've never been lucky in this game. Solitaire. The best office game of every year. Amazing, but the game hasn't changed in 30 years. The gameplay became more difficult with the presence of artifacts, but I made it. Deal again? No. What about other old games? Aladdin, for example, and the error message appears. Invalid upcode. I have no idea what it means. Let's try to run Blood Alpha. Same, maybe Doom. The same error. I've tried to load MS DOS and run the game from it but nothing changed. Then I've reinstalled a couple of Windows 3.1 versions and got almost the same issue. A flickering screen appears and an emoji. Did you see it? But this time if I try to run a game in MS-DOS mode, it works properly. Let's try to run Doom. It's fine, but we don't have a sound. I know that somewhere there is a secret. Yes, here it is. Incredible what Windows 3.1 can run on a modern hardware even 30 years after it was released. How it can be possible? Like its predecessors, the Windows 3.1 series run as a shell on top of MS-DOS. As you remember, in the previous video MS-DOS was successfully installed on a modern hardware. That's why Windows 3.1 can start too. By the way, Windows 3.1 looks great on a modern display. Look at this. If this video gets 5000 likes, I will try to install Windows 1 and Windows 2 on a new modern PC. There are more videos about installing Windows on my channel. If you are interested, you can check this playlist. Also, I have a second channel where I post Windows tutorials. All links will be in the description. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.